This is Sky Sports Live. In Rhodes, the venue this evening for our first live game from the new championship season. Two sides chasing top dogs Worcester. It is the Bedford Blues against London Welsh. And a reminder, we're in high definition here on Sky Sports HD2. Big man to get the ball over, six foot seven of him. Rule two. Bedford shorten the line out and win the line out. And this time the box kick works. Doesn't judge that one correctly. There's a slight blustery win coming and going. Yeah, it was a terrific kick from the young number nine and just gave himself an extra yard to get the, the kick away. But Dryuni shouldn't really have let it bounce. He wasn't going to make the same mistake twice, was he? Made sure that time to the scrum half. Of course. Dorian. A shot through the tackle of Purdy. Here's Bedford. It's Howard. Ever closer to that line. It's Walsh now. Bedford dive and they score. And it's Ven and Dahl. They do have the first try of the evening. Well, when you get your chance, you've got to take it. And that's exactly what Bedford did there. Tremendous running and kept the ball alive and just broke the defence to such an extent that they can just struggle to be players around the breakdown. And then Dow just going in for the try, but the damage was done by the fly half Dorian. And a great offload, and here we see good composure. The big Mike Howard, he kept the ball, and just nobody, nobody at home. Dorian again, though, right through the middle, wasn't he? Well, it just shows you how comfortable you know these players are on the ball on most occasions look at this now was it a forward pass see the line on the pitch and i think that that is a little maybe half yard just it's drifted forward but it was right in front of the touch judge good view of it let it go and bedford they rode their luck and came away with the points good hands in those tight spaces to set up the position for bedford Miles Dorian straight through the middle. Martin Purdy won't want to see a replay of that. Missed the tackle. And it's the young man, Darryl Venendahl. Waits for them to be attended to year old from guys, right? Oakham School. He scores the five-pointer. 11-6 the score now. Well, the youngster has scored the try and they'll be looking to the experience now to convert it and get those two extra points which they might be vital at the end of this game he's head thrower seeing the space right from the back wasn't it with that wide pass and then really nice tight hands on this left hand side well, sometimes when you're playing this the strong counter-attacking game, sometimes it, it just takes time and you maybe don't break down the defence in the opening 20 minutes, 30 minutes, but eventually it comes and you finally begin to find the gaps. But certainly what Bedford have shown this evening is composure in the offload. You see Brenton Burke again, the replacement coming on, keeping the ball alive. That's what Mike Rayer is trying to get in his squad, the youth and the experience. Head thrower, seeing the space from out wide and then finished off by the youngster. The scrum half, and he's right to be delighted. And for all the skillful play, what you're also seeing around the ball are blue bodies. You know, there's a real hunger and work rate from their players. Everybody in support trying to help out, whether it's the offload, whether it's hitting the ruck. Certainly, they've worked very, very hard and very well for each other. Josh Stratanu is back on his feet. Good to see he's been down for a while. Liam Gibson, Malin Yard on the bench. Well, I think Phil Greening and Mike Friday beside him there might have an edge of concern because 
Their pack in particular have been pinned back deep in there. 22. Bedford have played the territory, but they've also kept true to their principles. They've counter-attacked when it's been on. Two half-backs instrumental in that try, weren't they? One scoring it. Miles Dorian with a 